is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone. Staying at home a little easier to do when we're dealing with conditions like this. Several areas in the springs already seeing between five and about seven inches of snow. I want to show you the snowfall totals coming up here in just a minute. Right now, current conditions. It is the middle of April. We typically warm up to near 60 degrees during the day. Right now it is 23 north wind whipping around at 16 and that feels like temperature. The wind chill value down at 10 degrees. Pueblo haven't seen a lot of accumulating snowfall here in town, but there there's a chance we could pick up a dusting to maybe a couple of inches this evening. Current temperature here at about 35 degrees. Woodland Park, it's very cold here this evening. 12 outside with the wind chill value at about 5. Now these values will change. In fact, they're updated from what I showed you at the 5 o'clock hour. But here's the very latest as of 6 p.m. We have about 8.1 inches for the Air Force Academy, 7 for Monument and Colorado Springs, collecting about 4 inches for Florissant, 3 in Canyon City, and 2 inches so far on the ground in Trinidad. Now more is on the way, not done with this system. I think we'll continue to see the snow showers on again, off again through the overnight hours. And you can see the purple shaded areas here, northern parts of El Paso County, as well as Teller County, under winter weather advisories, snow, blowing snow, reduced visibilities, and maybe an additional two to six inches of snowfall in those areas before it's all said and done. You can see tonight the snow is expanding as expected across southeastern parts of the state. Right now, the heaviest stuff between Fort Carson and Fountain out east into eastern parts of El Paso. Paso County, a little bit of a break in town, but still some more pockets of snow will be moving in periodically during evening hours tonight and into the overnight hours. Let's take it to the south. Pueblo looks like the south side of town. Rye getting snow. Walsenburg. And the big picture setup, we have this upper level disturbance tapping into the moisture. Snow is going to end by early Tuesday. That's the good news. The bad news is it's going to be really cold tomorrow morning. Some spots could be down to the single digits. Here in the springs, your out the window forecast. We'll see snow heavy at times during the overnight hours. Let's up by tomorrow morning, but we're down to the teens for a very cold start to our Tuesday morning. By the afternoon, sunny but chilly with temperatures only warming to the upper 30s. You can see on the future cast, most of the storm is out of here by noon. Could linger maybe a little past sunrise for southeastern parts of the state, and it's possible we do get a few mountain snow showers tomorrow afternoon, but that would be about it. Wednesday starts dry as well before our next system moves in from Wyoming and Montana, and this is going to be another widespread late season snow event, folks, with snow on the way heading into Thursday. That's going to be our next best chance for snow as we look at the snow chances in the springs. Pretty low Tuesday, Wednesday, but we're back up to around 70% as we head towards your Thursday. So as the snow winds down, very cold temperatures tonight, down to the single digits, Woodland Park to Monument, 14 in the springs. Highs tomorrow a little better than today thanks to that sunshine. And we get warmer Wednesday as well, but we're knocked down about 15 degrees or so Thursday. And then finally some drier, more seasonal weather for the weekend. For Pueblo, 40s on Tuesday and Thursday. Next chance for rain and snow moves in on Thursday, but dry skies after that. Canyon City will be in the 40s, chilly for April conditions on Tuesday, warming up Wednesday, but snow back in the mix on Thursday. And for Woodland Park, cold temperatures Tuesday, warming up a bit Thursday, or I should say Wednesday with snow moving in Wednesday night into Thursday. Elizabeth?